Hi, I'm Mark Green and this is my co-worker Sander Romers. Today we want to talk to you about the Novatool Pun-M Mobile Finger Punch and demonstrate some of its features and benefits. This portable yet durable mobile finger punch is designed to punch fingers on the ends of lightweight thermoplastic conveyor belts as a preparation tool for making straight finger or finger over finger splices. The Pun-M is 100% manually operated not requiring any electricity or air pressure for operation. The punching force of up to 11,000 pounds is easily achieved by simply pulling on the C-frame punch lever. Because of its easy setup and manual operation, the Pun-M is an ideal tool for punching fingers in the field as well as in the belt shop. Let's get started. Let's make sure that the punch is set up to punch the finger dimensions required for the job by reviewing the punch block and the punch board. For the punch block, first loosen the fixation screw on the C-frame wedge until you're able to slide it out. Ensuring the tray is in the forward position, twist the C-frame away from the support table to remove. The punch block can be positioned two ways, vertically for longer fingers and horizontally for shorter fingers. Loosen the two set screws that are holding the punch block in the current horizontal position. Slide the punch block off the two spring pins and remove the two set screws, replacing them so they can lock the punch block in the vertical position. Insert the two spring pins into the guide holes of the punch block, securing it in place with the two set screws. Next, change out the punch board to the desired finger geometry by unscrewing the four hex bolts. Because we position the punch block in the vertical position, we can install a punch board with longer fingers. At the rear of the punch frame, there are tabs to store a punch board. The punch board gets secured to the punch board tray with the four hex bolts. Reinstall the C-frame. To secure the C-frame, reinstall the C-frame wedge and turn the fixation screw clockwise. Confirm the punch board tray is locked in either the forward or back position. Insert the belt with the top cover up flush against the backstop of the punch board tray. Align the left edge of the belt with the top of the V pattern or peak. Clamp the belt in position. Place one hand on the rear frame for support, using the other hand to operate the lever to punch the belt. Start by punching the belt in the center and then both ends. The blades engage the belt to prevent belt slippage. Punch the remainder of the belt. While the clamp bar is still locked, cut off the belt waist from the first section of the punch fingers, unclamp and shift the belt to the left. Utilize four or five punched fingers on the left to align or index with the punch blades to ensure correct finger spacing, while at the same time confirming the unpunched belt edge is tightly squared up against the backstop of the support tray. Reclamp the belt. Continue punching the entire width of the belt until it's all punched. Remove the excess belt and unclamp and remove the belt from the unit. 